Grace and peace to you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is almost Palm Sunday, the day when we remember Jesus' entry into Jerusalem and the crowd gathered waving leafy branches and palms, singing loud hosannas, hoping that Jesus would change the world. He did, but not in the way they expected. On Sunday, standing outside the front doors of Cove, I will read the Palm Sunday story from Matthew's Gospel. Before I do, go outside, find some leafy branches that you can bring inside and wave as I read that story and listen to it with hope and expectation. To prepare to hear my Palm Sunday sermon, a bedtime prayer, please read Psalm 31 and Luke 23. Think and pray about how you and I can participate with Jesus in praying the psalmist's prayer. Into your hand I commit my life. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. I hope you will join us on Palm Sunday and will invite your friends. By Saturday morning I will send out the worship links. As we enter into the holiest week of the year, I will send out a scripture reading for each day of Holy Week. Find a time in the day to enter deeply to a time of reading scripture and prayer. On Monday, Thursday at 6 p.m., Jill Duffield and I will lead a virtual communion service. We will be in the upper room at Cove and will ask each of you to come to your own kitchen table with a basin and soap and water and a towel, and also a glass of wine or grape juice and bread prepared to celebrate communion together. On Easter morning, Sunday, April 12th, I would love to have a virtual passing of the peace. So by next Wednesday at the latest, send me a picture of yourself, maybe wearing a colorful Easter bonnet or hat, but some picture of you and your family that you're willing to be shared on public domain. I do not know when we will be able to worship together again in the Cove Sanctuary, but whatever that date, we will celebrate a second Easter at Cove, rejoicing in the risen Christ, who is Lord even in times of deep darkness. We will bring our flowers and we will adorn that cross, the symbol of sickness and evil and despair. We will adorn that cross with beauty and we will sing and we will sing and we'll sing some more. I for one cannot wait for that day. As we prepare for Palm Sunday, know that I am praying for you and I hope that you will not hesitate to call me with any pastoral needs or concerns. To prepare our hearts to enter into Holy Week, I give you this poem, written from the perspective of the donkey who carried Jesus into Jerusalem on that first Palm Sunday. The poem is The Donkey by G.K. Chesterton. When fishes flew and forest walked and figs grew upon thorn, some moment when the moon was blood, then surely I was born with monstrous head and sickening cry and ears like errant wings, the devil's walking parody on all four-footed things, the tattered outlaw of the earth of ancient crooked will, starve, scourge, deride me. I am dumb, I keep my secret still. Fools, I also had my hour. One far fierce hour and sweet, there was a shout about my ears and palms before my feet. Grace and peace to you all. God bless.